Hello everybody, Rafael here again. Aquí estoy, Rafael de nuevo. It's been a while because I was organizing and cleaning up my garage. Limpié mi garage, así que, you know, estuve un poco ausente. So anyway, here I have a uh, dragon. This is how to paint a dragon. ¿Cómo pintar tu dragón? Now, how do you paint a dragon? I have no idea. So we're just going to throw in some paint, paint and uh, see what we come up with and we all learn together. Uh, no tengo ni idea cómo pintar un dragón, pero vamos a intentarlo, vamos a echarle pintura y a ver qué sale. Uh, this was sculpted by uh, uh, Ross Talent, uh, which actually his last name is perfect because he has a lot of talent. This is very nice, sculpted. I had this for a while, ya ten, tengo tiempo con, con este, uh, pero ya por fin me lo voy a pintar. Uh, fue esculpido por este, el uh, talentoso Ross Talent. Uh, comes with little horns. Uh, now I did ask Ross for uh, permission to recast these and make them into acrylic just for this project. Uh, so thank you Ross for um, you know allowing me to do so. Uh, they will not be for sale, so no, this is just for this one project. But what's it in acrylico? Y gracias a Ross que me dio permiso de hacerlo. But anyway, uh, this is a special video because I want to dedicate it to a good friend of mine, uh, Nelson Javier. Uh, that watches my videos almost daily from Puerto Rico. Um, quiero dedicar este video para un buen amigo, Nelson Javier. Uh, y Nelson, saludos desde Montecito, California. Este, este video te lo dedico especialmente para ti. Ojalá te guste, aprendas un poco de cómo pintar dragones, que también vamos a aprender nosotros. Um, y ya después de todo esto, esta figurita te la voy a enviar con mucho cariño. Uh, again, saludos, Nelson Javier, uh, y gracias por ver mis videos. So again, Nelson, thank you for watching my videos, and uh, let's get this going. Vamos a empezar. Okay, what we're going to do is primer it. Uh, vamos a ponerle primer, and, and we're going to use white. Vamos a hacerlo blanco. Okay, I'm going to throw in some uh, FW uh, acrylic inks, and I'm going to throw in some yellow. Vamos a empezar con amarillo. Don't ask me why, because I don't know, I'm just going to throw it in there. Uh, no sé por qué el amarillo, pero pues nada más para empezar. And I'm just doing it randomly. I mean, it just doesn't. Más solid. No estoy haciendo lo sólido. I'm going to go in some uh, green. Un poquito de verde. I'm going in with some olive green, un poquito de verde olivo, más oscuro. Now before I go on, after the seguir, I'm going to seal what I've got right now. I'm going to go in with a little bit of red, con un poco de rojo and just do little modeling all over the place. Now a little bit of blue, same thing. Put the azul, you want little modeling just everywhere. A little bit of white or bone color. Un poquito de blanco. Ok, uh, still a lot more to go. Uh, todavía falta mucho que hacer, but I want to see some detail on these things, at least for the moment. Then we're just going to add some more paint, of course. But so right now, let's just do a, a quick wash just to get into the crevices and see what we come up with. This is just uh, some brown watered down. It's pintura café con este con agua. Okay, now I'm gonna start throwing in some colors. Voy a empezar a echarle colores. I'm using transparent um, paints. So I'm gonna start with some green, and I'm just gonna add more color to it. 
Y voy, a, voy a empezar a echarle nada más diferentes colores. And some yellow. All these are transparent. And some red. In certain areas, in certain areas, un poquito de rojo. And I'm doing transparent purple just to do the crevices or the sh shading. Estoy usando morado transparente. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Um, ahorita voy a entrar con café. I'm going to add some, darken in some areas with brown. Okay, now we're going to uh, add some wash, but this one I'm going to spray it with uh, translucent uh, black and just wipe it off. Uh, lo voy a esperar con este negro y luego lo voy a, uh, este, a limpiar. Okay, so I decided to go with the original horns because I thought I had acrylic and I don't, so I don't have time to be ordering it. I want to get this thing done. Uh, so we're doing the uh, normal horns, the, the ones that came with. Uh, pensé que tenía uh, acrílico y no pude hacer los cuernos con acrílico porque no tengo el material. Uh, pero en fin, vamos a ponerlo. I just added five minute epoxy. Utilicé el, el pegamento cinco minutos. Um, and then we'll just paint those and uh, add some uh, paint the eyes and I think we're almost done. All right, so the horns are painted. Um, I'm going to add some more stuff on here. Más detalle, lo detail, but I'm going to do the eyes now. I'm going to go with yellow and some red. Okay, we're going to give him a clear satin look. See what that looks like. Not, not glossy. Um, and what we're going to gloss is the horns and teeth and eyes. Vamos a echarle más brillo a los cuernos y a los ojos y los dientes. But for the skin, we're just going to go with clear satin. It'll be, I guess, glossy, but not as glossy as the other things will be. So let's spray them. Okay, so now I'm going to mix up where I'm going to mix five minute epoxy. Equal amounts. And I'm going to add a little bit of, a little hint of purple so it doesn't turn yellow. As you can see, you can see, you can still see through the uh, epoxy, uh, but there's a little hint of purplish tone. Yes, le puse un poquito de morado para que no se ponga amarillo. And I'm just gonna start brushing it on. Give the horn some nice shine. All right, guys, so here he is, all done. Aquí está, todo terminado. Bunch of colors, muchos colores. As you saw, we just threw things in there and this is what we got. Alright guys, till next time, hope you learned something, hasta la próxima.
Ojalá hayan aprendido algo.